Good morning, gorgeous ones. Dr. Lucy here. How are you? From Real Life Medicine, of course. Uh, looking out my window now. My window's just over there. And it's blowing a gale in Melbourne. It's actually back to kind of wintry, a bit sadness for all of us. Uh, this morning, I'm talking about teams. So who's on your team? And it's really important that we don't try and do everything ourselves. Good morning, Jodes. Now, I'm a person that is guilty of that from time to time. I am a person that will often try and do everything myself. You know, I'm independent. Uh, maybe I've got something to prove. Probably I have. But uh, it is my default is often just to kind of keep going uh, and forge my own way. Now, the problem with this is that we actually, as humans, we're not islands. Humans are designed to connect with each other. Morning, Louise. And um, it's really important that we actually recognize that. Now, last week, last week I actually had a little, did I fall in a heap? I think that's probably a bit of an exaggeration. I certainly had a period of time where I felt uh, overwhelmed. You know, overwhelmed. I had too many plates in the air, too many balls spinning. Is that even a word? Plates spinning balls in the air. There you go. Nobody wants their plates in the air. That wouldn't be any good. So um, I'm lucky because on my team, I've got Mary. So Mary uh, was able to do some of the things that perhaps I normally would do. And I could, you know, happily allow her to do that. And I think we all, so two things. So I'm very grateful, very grateful to have her on my team. So I think we need to be, uh, you know, just mindful who's on your team and be grateful for them. And the second thing is, I'm just going to press one of those little buttons. I've got that stupid thing that pops up and says low battery. Drives me nuts. And then the second thing is actually make sure you use your team because that's what they're there for. So there's no point having all this support group if you don't actually use anybody. Good morning, Karen. So, you know, this is the thing that's really, so in, it, it's hard for me to ask for help. It's not my nature. Okay, my nature is always to just forge on. And it's, if you're one of those people, you, you what you do is you get stuff done. Okay, you're a doer, you get stuff done, but nobody can do everything all of the time. So I guess the second thing is make sure you ask for help from your team, your support network, whoever they may be. Now, this is, this is actually just a life lesson, not necessarily a weight loss lesson. But it was interesting because I've been talking to a lot of people lately who are trying to change the way they eat and are coming up against some roadblocks, maybe some pushback from people around them. So they feel like they're not on a team. So the really important thing is to ask your team, ask your tribe, your family, your unit, your workplace to help you. Because if we just pretend that we're doing it all by ourselves, then people will let you do it all by yourselves and often inadvertently kind of move you off your path. But if you actually do that thing that Brené says, Brené Brown says, Make yourself a little bit vulnerable. It feels a bit scary because you're actually admitting that you need some help and that's okay. Then you can actually use your team to help you do whatever it is that you want to do. As I said, if it's choose the right food that you want to eat, help you with your exercise program, help you, you know, master your business. That's me. Ask for help. There's no shame. So that's my little message for today. Ask for help. There is no shame. Then be very grateful and appreciative of the help that is around for you. But if you don't ask, then people aren't going to help. Particularly, okay, and this is really important, particularly for those very high achieving people. We see them all the time. People come and say, I can do everything in my life. I just can't master this bit. It's because high achieving people don't ask for help. And they need it. So my loves, I've asked for help last week. Bloody Mary, she's beautiful. She, she helped. She was brilliant. Uh, you can do it too. Have a wonderful day. Don't freeze to death. If you're in Melbourne, you'll bloody get...
blown away like spots windy day <laughs> speaking of spots windy day did you guys see there's some meme that's floating around that goes you know spot goes to the beach uh spot spot goes to the forest and it's all like shut up spot there is no uh spots in lockdown that would be a good that would be a good book uh stay safe stay well i'll see you tomorrow darlings bye darlings